Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. We are so excited to have you guys here. There is amazing amount of stuff going on. We've been talking about what was going on with Funnel Hacking Live. Where is Russell? It's kind of like, where is Waldo? Where is Russell this week? <laughs> there is some crazy stuff going on, and we're going to highlight you. We're going to talk about doing the stuff instead of just kind of like learning the stuff. How do you actually do the stuff? There's a lot in today's episode. Make sure you guys are paying attention. Let's roll the intro. We are part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We are funnel hackers, and these are our stories. Hey, welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. I'm Susan Leonardson. This is I'm Ben Moot. Um, we have a packed episode today. It's a little bit different than expected though, um, but that's all right. It's going to be amazing. We have um, some water cooler moments coming up. Like Ben said, where is Russell right now? But we have some other things to um, talk about what, what's going on in the community right now. We also have some hacker heroes, people in the community that we want to highlight, some posts we've been seeing um, and some awards that have been given. We love to see it. And then we also have a uh, another user spotlight to highlight, which is awesome. Um, and then we'll end it. We'll cap it off with a funnel hacker moment from me. What's going on with me? What am I doing in the funnel hacker world? Um, so, Ben, why are we doing this episode this way? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, can you share this over to the group? I totally forgot to do that, Susan. I'm yes, so I can. I know you're on it. <laughs> oh. Guys, so today we have uh, today we were supposed to be speaking with a certain Funnel Hiking Live speaker. That Funnel Hiking Live speaker got sick. We want to be able to talk about what we've been doing really quick. So let's go ahead and do their speaker moment really quick. Let's do speaker news. So Funnel Hiking Live is literally around the corner. There is a lot going on. And uh, yesterday we got to speak with Ben Kerr. The day before that, we were able to speak uh, with Kevin Anson. And we've been doing these interviews over over and over it has been absolutely a blast and so here's the deal if you guys are missing any of these you need to catch up on this you need to be there so really quick this is funnelhacker.tv my friends if you guys are not signed up for all the text messages all the emails that go out you need to be because you can come here you can watch all the old episodes so this is our ben care episode so you're able to come over here and watch ben care it's so funny yesterday Ben like gave us almost like a private discussion afterwards where he talked about how powerful uh, it is to come to Funnel Hacking Live and how you were called to write your own book and how that calling is like your book is your life, your story and how you have a meaning that is out there that needs to be shared out into the world. And he talks about that and gave us this little thing afterwards. It's so cool. If you guys want to hear Ben's story, Ben has Cruzon syndrome. Um, he's a wrestler. He wrestled with Russell in high school. Um, they're in the same club, and uh, there's so much cool stuff here. He's going to be speaking at Funnel Hacking Live. It's an absolute blast. And then we have Kevin Anson. Uh, Kevin Anson is the original editor for Funnel Hacker TV. You get to hear about what he's doing and how he's created a specific formula that works amazing for video ads. And uh, the bonuses that everybody's giving away is just absolutely ridiculous. So here's the deal. If you guys have not gone to funnelhackinglive.com and you have not gotten your tickets you need to come here you need to grab your tickets they are absolutely flying off the shelves and they are uh we're getting an update from the team we're about 70 percent full getting a little bit higher on the hotel room so we have a suite of rooms that we have saved for you but that is closing that is going away and so we want to make sure if you want a ticket you need to come and get a ticket so that way you get that suite of rooms you get all the details in the background as well as all of the bonuses. And uh, they just updated all the bonuses, tossed them all in here. It is unreal how many bonuses we Look have. Look at all of them. <laughs> Multiple pages of bonuses at this point for you guys. There is so much in here. Um, each of these are like just powerhouses in and of themselves. And it's all there to prepare you for Funnel Hacking Live. You can watch all the previous ones and do all of that. That's all available for you guys. But the deal is tickets are flying off the shelves. And if you guys want to be able to stay at the hotel, which we highly recommend because of the experience that you're able to keep, you need to go and get your ticket for Funnel Hacking Live because it is time and the madness is just continuing. Oh, did I miss anything on that one, Susan? I'm so excited. No, I'm so excited for FHL. 
oh man, starting to make plans of when I'm getting there, when I'm leaving, what it's going to, what I'm going to do while I'm preparing. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so awesome. Okay. Oh, um, wait. And, and for those of you who are true hackers, Russell asked me to be on Funnel Hacker TV and asked Susan to be on Funnel Hacker TV because he saw us do one thing that I'd recommend you guys do. Yes. Um, I would recommend if everybody could do this, this would be really cool. Number one, get your ticket to Funnel Hacking Live. But the thing that Susan and I did that was unique is when we went to the events, we documented every single day. And so I've already talked to the ClickFunnels team, like I'm renting my car. Um, I'm getting that all rented out. And then I'm going to be driving down. I'm going to document the whole thing. Um, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys as we go. Share with us your journey. Share with us the insights, what you're excited for when you're going. Share with us what your, you know, what your insights were every single day. Drop it in the community. Do Facebook Lives. Let us know. Uh, we would love to be able to see you, be able to highlight you. Uh, we're going to be there. We're going to be doing some really special stuff with Funnel Hacker TV. And so uh, stay tuned. There's going to be some cool stuff, but document that journey. And uh, I used it the way that I did it. Um, I don't know why you did it, Susan, but the way that I did it is I documented my journey and I take copious notes. Like I get the, so you'll get a binder with a whole bunch of notes and I make massive notes. Um, and I said, if you guys want my notes, sign up on my li email list. And I built it as an email list registration process. And so when people actually signed up for my notes, um, I get, I went back home, I went through and I typed out all the notes that were on my, that were there. And I turned that into a free opt-in for everybody. And it was that documentation was just me being loud and building my list. And I'm going to tell you, people were dying to get that every single day. It was so cool. So that's how it worked for me. Susan, why were you doing it? That's I, I I'm, I'm smiling over here. Cause that's awesome. I think the first, was it the first year I was at FHL? I did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I used my notes as a lead magnet. It yes. was awesome. It worked really well. Um, uh, so I think one of the, so how Russell saw me, of uh, wasn't funnel hacking live, but it was mastermind in paradise. Yes. Um, I was doing recap videos. So I was like, okay, like I was going to my community and he just happens to have been in my community, which was awesome, but you could do it on your profile. Like if you want to, to uh, if you don't have a community yet. Um, and I just did like a, a recap. I'm like, Hey, day one, here's like the highlights that I got from today. Um, and just sharing that as added value to people, but also um, it helps people see you like, oh, you're mm -hmm. there. Uh, yeah. There's something special about that. Um, and then I was going to say there is a hashtag you guys should be using. It's like an official hashtag. It's yes. called journey to FHL. So do hashtag journey to FHL on all of your journey to FHL related posts that you're doing. Maybe we need to, um, we'll gather some of those and, and highlight some on Funnel Hacker TV too. So you never Ooh. know, maybe we'll pick some stuff um, and you'll find yourself on here. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, like your journey, like getting prepared and booking your tickets, getting your room uh, on the way down. If you're going to drive down like Ben is, or you're flying, um, take pictures along the way, your experience, people like it's not uncommon to meet people in the airport that are also on their way to FHL. Wear so, the swag. Conversations where, yeah, wear a shirt. It's so easy to spot people uh, when you're wearing a shirt. If you've been to a past one and you have a backpack, like that's awesome to have on your back. Um, so just share all of that experience and we'll keep an eye on that hashtag and bring it to the show. Um wow. Yeah, that's so good. And then, um, oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. So much okay, to talk about. all right. Let's let's go into the water cooler moments. Are we ready yes. for that? We are let's now. Talk about what's ben, going I'm cutting on. you off. <laughs> no, no, no. This is great. Um, so I apologize if my video is bad, guys. I don't know. If, did I tell this story yet to everybody? No, um, I don't think I you did. Didn't. So water cooler moment. Just a Ben Moot water cooler moment. And I'm probably freezing as I'm doing it, but. You're good. Saturday night, uh, my wife was walking into the house and as she came into the garage, uh, we had a thunderclap, a moment of instant thunder and lightning, which means lightning struck extremely close to the house. And my wife ran into the house and her feet and her, and her hands were tingling. She's like, honey, that wasn't right. There was something weird. We're like, what in the world happened? We started walking around. It struck my Starlink internet. So I have a satellite, I have the whole router out there, lightning struck it and just blew it to pieces. Uh, and so if you guys are like, why is wrong with Ben's internet? It got blown to pieces. 
And so we are, I talked to Starlink. They're sending me a refund, actually. They're like, just send us the old stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. And so they're sending, I'm sending them the old stuff. They're giving me a new one. Um, and uh, we'll get that set up and everything will be better soon. But um, that yeah. is coming. So, <laughs> so my apologies, first off, if the video is weird. Second off. Looking good right now. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> as long as I don't like make crazy movements. Um Let's go ahead and jump into where is Russell? Where in the world is Russell? Right now, Russell, my friends, is in Kenya. Um, he's in Kenya, and it is such a cool experience. If you're not following him on social media, you should be. Um, you get to see him. You get to see his wife. For every funnel that you guys publish, I don't know if you know this, when you publish it and you get 100 visitors to that funnel, a dollar is donated to Operation Village Impact, or not Operation, just Village Impact. Um, and Village Impact is a really cool uh, 401, uh, 501c3. Um, it is a nonprofit that is put together by Stu McLaren and his lovely wife. And uh, they donate and build out schools in Kenya. And uh, once a year, Russell will fly out there and he, was, he brought his whole family for the very first time. So you're able to see all this. Like you get to hear the women singing. It is beautiful. Um, you should be following Russell. It is so cool. Um, but he, these videos aren't up for forever. So definitely check it out. Um, it is a really cool experience they're having. So they just got done with that. Um, and now they're on, they're going on a safari. So, uh, you'll see in just a moment, they all boarded on a plane. They all jumped on on his family and they, uh, they're flying off to a safari experience right now. So if you're not following Russell on Instagram or on Facebook, you should, because these things just don't live forever. And it is a really, really cool experience. Um, and it's something that they're donating every time you start having success. So start building those funnels, guys. Start doing that. It, every step of what we do here at ClickFunnels supports somebody else. Uh, is a huge giving network. And so, my friends, make sure that you are building so that we can give because we've got some really cool stuff. Oh, cool. good, good, oh good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Even though Russell's in Kenya right now, there's still stuff happening on his podcast <laughs> and it's good. It's good. Let's, oh, it's so uh, good. let's see, we pull that up. So yes, the most recent episode on his podcast on marketing secrets mm -hmm. um, is all about linchpin, as you can tell, Ooh. which is leading up to Funnel Hacking Live, which is also going to be all about linchpin. Um, I, this looks, it's a part one though, yes. which... Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yes. So so this is a two-part series. Uh, the second one is dropping tomorrow. And so um, if you haven't listened to the first part, so this is a special webinar that Russell did uh, for Anik Singal. Um, and it's the first time that he ever taught the linchpin outside of our world. Um, it's the first time he ever mentioned it. And so uh, if you guys, and, and when he did it, I actually got to be in the office. I listened to the entire thing. And he stepped off the stage. He's like, Ooh, and we were like, I think that's the best way you've ever explained this before. So if you want to understand like why the linchpin is a thing and what the general idea is, this is the easiest, like simple summation of what this process is and how it works. Um, yesterday, the episode from last week talks about how we grew ClickFunnels to where it is today and what mechanism we use to do that. Part two that's dropping tomorrow is how we use the linchpin to really ignite that sucker on fire and why you should be doing that in your business. So if you're trying to figure out what is the linchpin, why are they talking about a funnel hacking live? Why is it this big thing? Russell's giving you all the details. Make sure you're listening on the podcast because it's good. It's really, really good. It's awesome. There's so much value that gets dropped so over there. And, and there's another podcast episode yes, that just dropped. Yeah, there is. What? Okay. Funnels radio. Click Funnels Radio. So uh, Chris Cameron and Laura Demetrius uh, interviewed Doug Bouton. And Doug Bouton is a speaker at Funnel Hacking Live. He has not scheduled yet. If you are listening, Doug, you need to schedule a time with us. We love you. Schedule, my friend. Um, Doug is going to be speaking at Funnel Hacking Live, but he spoke because um, he is, or he's on the podcast. They highlight him because he is a dream car winner. Um, he has a two comic club award. He has a dream car award. And his next moonshot is to go for a two comma club heart award. Um, so if you don't know what that is, that is where you give a million dollars to a charity through a funnel um, or from your business. And that is what Doug is building. This is a special award 
that Dave Woodward created because he saw people giving in the community and he wanted to highlight that as something that is beautiful. And because of that, we have that award. Doug's shooting for it. So if you want to hear how Doug, number one, won the dream car, like what were his biggest obstacles in doing that? Number two, what does his normal day-to-day -day look like? Like what is his actual business from which he has a two comic club award? Number three, how is he doing all of that and taking it to the next level? It's a beautiful podcast. It's really, really good. Uh, Laura and Chris do a wonderful job of bringing the whole story out of him. So go check that out. Um, and as a teaser, we're going to be funnel hacking with Susan here in a minute. And the reason I'm talking so much is because Susan has been doing something. And so I apologize for stealing all the air in the room. I'm going to give it back uh, because Susan is doing something really cool. And I wanted to talk about that at in a minute. We'll get there in just a second, right? Yes. All, all good. Right. It's been a crazy week. We'll hear all about it in just a minute. <laughs> all, right. all right. Okay. Uh, all right. So Thanks. we do, though, we want to highlight a lot of you in the community. Ooh. So let's yeah. move to our hacker heroes. Ooh. And we have quite a few posts that have been popping up. Yes. So, um, and let First me did, did that work well when I shared last time? I think it did. Go ahead. Let's okay. try it. Let's right, see let's if Ben's see if video works, works if it doesn't. I have the post ready to pull up. <laughs> All right. So the first one I want to say thank you to, guys. If you don't know, his name is Barack, uh, Barack Lando. And I apologize if I say your name wrong. Um, he said that he went live. He did exactly what Russell talks about. And he taught the, only the strategy and not the tactics. This is part of expert secrets. Um, but people were really upset. So what was he missing? And so you guys came in, you guys started to give your answers and your ideas, and you guys gave tons of feedback around how do you do this right? There's a specific process to the way Russell does this that is super powerful, that is really helpful. And you guys help show him that and show him all the things I love what you guys post. It's absolutely wonderful. There's actually one post on here that I wanted to highlight. Somebody said, well, you know, that book is 10 years old, bro. Uh, the market is different now. The answer is no. The market's <laughs> not different. Um, and so congratulations, Will Hirsch. Thank you so much for this. Um, you're like, look, Alex Hermosi is teaching the exact same stuff right now and it's blowing up. It's all about the basics and you stick to it and scale. His business is doing 4 million a year. Guys, thank you for your comments. Thank you for doing this. There's a reason that these strategies work. Right now we're working on so many different things to try to get this into your hands as soon as possible. If you're not in the community, if you are not paying attention and seeing these, or like getting a part of those conversations, you're missing something that's really, really, really cool. And so number one, thank you for asking questions. Thank you for answering questions. And thank you for helping people realize that a lot of these strategies are evergreen. They are really, really, really valuable. Um, I want to show a rant really quick. This is from Michael. Uh, Michael Young uh, did a rant a little while ago. <laughs> and it's like, rant's over. This is it. Um, all these people are saying, look, you aren't hustling 12 hours a day. You need to be hustling 16 hours a day. Sleep when you're dead. All this stuff. He's like, look, a lot of entrepreneurs are falling into depression. They're getting divorces. They're losing their businesses due to burnout. It's not sustainable. You can't outwork you. You just need to do something that actually works. And what is that that works? And he gave an absolutely great sketch, which is create a set of systems that create increasing levels of leverage. So use your time more wisely, number one. Number two, three to four hours of focused needle moving work. That is focused time. One decision made every week, a bulletproof habit, focus, you make sure you're getting enough sleep, sleep uh, strict boundaries. This is how you make a three to four hour day a 16 hour day. And I just wanted to highlight that because a lot of us want to go crazy. We like funnel hacking. We like going crazy. We like burning the bridge and not being able to sleep and wake up going, I'm making it happen. As much as we love those times of making a funnel year happen in a week, you need to allow yourself to breathe. Um, here at the ClickFunnels team, we will literally do a launch and it will be a week to a week and a half of utter madness where it is long days, but then we breathe afterwards and there's that expansion time where it's all right. If everyone's going off a little bit early, it's absolutely fine. We're getting the things done we need to because we compress time, but we have planned moments where we compress that time. So organize that for yourselves and make it make it something that you can do over and over. Um, two other things really quick. Um, Don Markland, you, my friend, got your two comic club award and you shared it. Share it in the community. Um, absolutely love this. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, we absolutely love and appreciate 
And when you guys share your stories of getting your two comic book award, what it looks like, um, his, his program accountability now just hit the two comic club award. Oh, we're so happy for you. So excited. And then one more Tim, uh, let's see really quick. Tom Oops. Rogers, Tom Rogers. Here we are. Nope. My browser's having issues. Just a minute. Let me remove this one and let me mm -hmm. try one more time. So Tom Rogers um, also got his two comic club award and he is from the UK. There yep. we go. Got it up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, it, what was it? What was the business is fast lane. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a real estate business. Um, and so he talks about uh, how they built it, how they did it with their family, all the things you learn along the way. A lot of the reasons why ClickFunnels is success, successful, my friends, is because we have the tool. And we have the things that you need to learn step by step in order to be able to reach that. It's not just about, I built a funnel. There's all the strategies that surround it. This is a software platform that helps you win. And so the reason it wins is because of everything that's involved in the community and you guys that are here. So thank you so, 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 so much. Um, one last thing on community, because you guys are amazing. We just did a recent uh, user spotlight. That user spotlight is with Carl Vaisha, okay, and Carl, uh, yeah, Vaisha, make sure I said it right. Uh, if you guys are not on YouTube, go check it out on YouTube. It's really good. Uh, Laura interviews uh, Carl, and Carl talks about how he grew his business and what, what his business is now, where it's taken off, and uh, so many other things. It is absolutely worthwhile, absolutely beautiful, um, and it's really, really cool. He's won multiple two comic club awards. He knows what he's talking about. Everyone just go over to the YouTube channel. You'll see not only the user spotlights, but you'll also see the ClickFunnels radio. We're doing video of that and dropping it in. So if you need that boost, that energy, that moment of, you know what, you're not alone in, in the funnel hacking of day to day, go over to the YouTube channel. Keep being connected here, my friends. We are going to continue to highlight you. We appreciate you so, so, so much. So awesome to see all of that. You guys are helping each other. Awards are being earned. <laughs> yes. You're putting in the work. So that There's brings us to Funnel you! Hacking with Susan. <laughs> Funnel Hacking with Susan. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. So I love what Ben was saying when he was talking about um, Michael. Michael Young's post mm. um, about how like there's concentrated moments of, of just getting it done. And then we, we go and take a break. That's exactly what I'm going through. So <laughs> in, uh, in, in my business, I've business partner, Andrew Pierre, shout out Dan Havey, Nicole Coons. Those are, <laughs> those are our, our people um, in our business. And we just launched a challenge yesterday um, we're doing the thing. <laughs> um, usually we're doing it for other people, but we're like, yeah, we got to run our own challenge. So <laughs> we launched our challenge yesterday. We hustled. I'm pretty sure Andrea was doing slides like up until the moment of, I think pretty sure she was doing it again today of slides. <laughs> it feels very Russell, um, and the team of like, oh, we got to like change this thing. And it's like, we'll leave two minutes before we go live. What are we doing? <laughs> um, but it's awesome. It is so rewarding when you're able to to build something and then deliver it and and have like have it resonate with people or not and get feedback like it doesn't really matter but like that you did the thing like you followed through you did it so that's what we're doing um we opted to do a two-day challenge so again like right i was like ben I'm doing the pitch today. I'm going to be on <laughs> Funnel Hacker TV. Like I'll be ready, like right up to the wire. <laughs> so Ben's throwing all this stuff together because we had a last minute change. <laughs> um, and we went and did the thing. It was amazing. Um, and But but now it's like, like I'm on Funnel Hacker TV right now. Right after this, my family and I are going away for the weekend. Like mm. it's like, okay, I am hustling. Like my kids have barely seen me these last couple of days, but I told them, I made sure that they knew like, hey, like, mom's doing this thing. It's taking a lot of my time this week, but I promise like, uh, whatever day it is Thursday afternoon, I'm going to be done working for like the full four, four days of our weekend that we're taking. Um, and so that really, really helps with, I mean, if you have kids and you have to set those expectations, but the important part is like definitely taking the break. So I really appreciate that post from Michael and then Ben, you bringing it up. Um, 
as far as the challenge goes, it's been awesome. We are using 2.0 for our funnels. Um, we have pe people signed up for our, our actual challenge. People are signing up for our offer. Like it's all working really well. Um, and it's just really fun. It's really fun to see it working and happening. Um, and we are so excited about what is coming next. We've actually, this is really awesome. Um, we just, I got to give credit to Andrea Peer for this because she, she thought of it. And I just love it. But we all know, and I'm wearing the shirt today, ClickFunnels 2.0. Yes. Um, we all think of ClickFunnels 2.0 as the software, the SaaS. But we like it, we realize like ClickFunnels 2.0 isn't just about the product of the software. It's like with 2.0, we have Lynchpin. We have whatever Russell's gonna be releasing at the next Funnel Hacking Live um, that I know goes with Lynchpin because I've seen it. I know what he's going to be releasing. Um, but it's it's not just software 2.0. It's like 2.0 of ClickFunnels and the frameworks. And it's like this whole, we're in this next chapter, guys. We're in the next phase of ClickFunnels and the frameworks. And now is the time to really be diving in and learning what Russell and the team are putting out there into the world. Because I mean, even even the the post about the comment about the book and like those a book was written 10 years ago. The book still holds true, but Russell's expanding on it. He's putting more frameworks to the frameworks he's already put out there. He's giving more ways of, of how to execute on what he's already given. It's not that things changed. It's just he's finding easier ways of explaining it, easier ways for people to follow what they should be doing and create their plans and, and all those things. So if you're not figuring out figuring out how that works now, um, I think you're you're kind of falling behind. <laughs> uh, and it is out. just really awesome to to see how it has changed, not changed, but adapted, evolved over the last few years, and that we are in the ClickFunnels 2.0 era, and it is really exciting to be yeah. there. And and um, I'm just, like, I cannot express to you how excited I am for everyone who is going to Funnel Hacking Live this year and will discover the things that we've all been kind of putting into practice over the last year, the linchpin model, um, the continuity, the dramatic demonstrations, like the traffic systems, all of the things that go together because it is life changing. Like there's new ways of people doing the same thing same strategies, but people are just executing on it different that might resonate with you that nothing else has before yet. And to learn that stuff and to go home and then actually do it is just amazing. And I hope that's my hope for everybody. Learn it and then go and do it, please. <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, Lynchpin is the way Justin's in the comments. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Justin. for sure. So, so oh. yes, I'm exhausted, <laughs> but <laughs> it is so too. fun. And you're on like day two of your challenge too. It's day two. It's just a two day. So this was the last day oh, we condensed. Okay. We were like two day is what we're going to aim for. We actually saw it modeled by Catherine Jones recently of a two day event. We're like, oh. it's, it's the same stuff that you'd put into a three day or a five day, but we've condensed it. So well, that that's it's... crazy too. Cause I remember yesterday <laughs> yeah. you were sharing with me like images of people who are saying, look, it was just taught so beautifully that like, they were ready for part two. So uh, one of the reasons why a lot of people don't launch, and I want to hit on this really quick. A lot of the reasons why we don't launch is because we're scared. We're like, oh, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to put my face out there. What if nobody shows up? What if only like two people show up? What if like some people show up here and there, but no one ever talks to me? Like you are learning the process. You are learning, number one, how do you actually throw the darn event? Number two, how do you grab their attention and keep it? Number three, how do you then make sure that you have the process you set up correctly? More than likely, the first time you do it, it's not going to be perfect and it's okay. It's all right. I was shocked. One of the things I've been most shocked about, being inside of ClickFunnels now and seeing the people that are in the inner circle and in uh, the category king and make, none of them are doing it perfect. Mm -hmm. Like no one is following what Russell does to the absolute letter T. They're catching the best they can doing it in their own style and framework and putting their own twist on it here and there. And it's good enough. 
And that's the powerful piece. And so like, I know you're feeling that too. Cause you're just like, Oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So like, let me, let me speak about that for a minute. Um, yeah. I see also taking perfect action in the, in the comments it's pitch day. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we, right after our challenge yesterday, we went into our community and we did a breakdown like we, cause it was our normal live on Wednesdays. And we're like, well, let's just talk about like what we just did. And we were just breaking down what we went through. We talked about all of the problems that we ran into. <laughs> and we were talking about that exact thing of like, it's never going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect on day one. It's not going to be perfect on day a hundred. Like it's never going to be perfect. There's always, there's so many variables that can contribute to it. Not working exactly the way that it needed to be. Like we had an issue of it, most of them were human errors. Like I couldn't figure out how to make my audio play through my zoom system, like the system audio through zoom. Like I didn't know where that button was, but I went and I figured it out after day one and day two, I had my countdown music playing. Like it was working and people <laughs> weren't sitting awkwardly in silence anymore. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we had some, uh, challenges with like sharing a link to people uh, for a template that we had created for them to work mm -hmm. through while they were on our challenge. And we had a big hang up with that. That was um, kind of a, a, a hang up for some people, but they stuck through it. And then we also stuck through it. Like we went and found the proper way to share that template to people. So we were good. Um, so, and we do this all the time for our clients. <laughs> like We do this for others so often. But then, you know, even when you turn around, like if you've done it a whole bunch of times, you're still going to run into some issues. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah. never going to be perfect. Just go and do it. Just go and do it. Mark, I see you, by the way, your comments. Like I went to my first funnel say, this is my first funnel. And it's going to suck. It's and it's suck. perfectly fine. <laughs> You're going to succeed. Uh, success is one funnel away. You just keep growing. You just keep learning. That's why there's a secret of success is because it's having the faith to keep taking that step one after another. And you're like, oh, I slipped on that one. You go and you make sure how to share that right. You go and make sure the waiting music is going. You make sure that all the different pieces are going until the next time you take to the next level. It becomes such a production and such an experience for people. That's why I think I think it's beautiful, number one, when Russell does this stuff, when we get to watch Russell do it, because how he orchestrates a challenge or a webinar or funnel hacking live, just being able to take a couple of those core pieces and add that into your business, just viewing it will change your business. But then forget what happens if you take all of the books and you start installing them piece by piece, like... I'm going to be honest, like we've been working on like the process to be able to like, what is the next version of the funnels for the books? Um, I know Russell was talking about that a while ago, so I'm not the first person to bring it up. But number one, you have to realize he rewrote these. He rewrote dot-com secrets and expert secrets when he let brought traffic secrets out. And we're trying to figure out how to make this as simple of a success path and process for you guys. And if you don't have the new versions, you should. Number one, they're hardback and they're nice. Uh, but number two, it is a step-by-step -step path. Um, this, this will teach you the basics so that way you're good to go. This is the fire to help you get moving so that way you can start to get those pieces, get them in play, and then this is how you get traffic to that. But the key here is be involved. Uh, you guys are in an amazing community. We just, we appreciate you so much. It was a blast to be able to highlight you guys today, um, be able to talk about Susan's success. Keep pushing forward. Uh, we believe in you. We appreciate you and you guys can do it. All right. All right. I think that's oh my the gosh. <laughs> There's so much more coming up next week. We have oh. more FHL speakers that we're bringing yeah. on to Funnel Hacker TV, yep. more bonuses to be dropped, <laughs> more fun to be had. <laughs> okay. So uh, a couple of, couple of things we could do. Uh, let's, let's tease a couple people. You've yeah. already said the name of somebody who's going to be on next week. So if you guys oh, are like, paying attention and you know who that is, drop the name down below. Um, another person that we're going to be talking to, uh, they've spoken on stage at Funnel Hiking Live. Have they? They've spoken in the inner circle. I don't know if they've ever spoken. This is a duo and they're speaking at Funnel Hiking Live. If you guys go to FunnelHikingLive.com, you guys can go see it. Go ahead and write down which duo you think is speaking uh, on Wednesday. And then on Monday, we have a woman who is a trailblazer and is amazing. Uh, her her uh, initials are M. 
P. So my friends, <laughs> go and make sure that you guys are signed up. If you guys are not signed up for, to get all of the notifications, go and text FHTV to 208. 231-3797. We'll get all the text messages. We sent a text message out today when we went live. We'll make sure you get those text messages out during this. And just so you guys know, we're going live a lot right now because of Funnel Hacking Live. Eventually, we'll go back to the week. Um, so we will not be inundating your phone all the time. But Funnel Hacking Live is kind of a big deal. If you're getting any value from Funnel Hacker TV or any of the programs that we're doing right now, Funnel Hiking Live is just going to blow your socks off and let you believe that you can do this. And that belief is going to change your life. Make sure you grab your tickets. We will see you guys next week. Thanks for being on, everyone. My name is Russell Brunson, and I'm part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We don't rely on cash from venture capitalists to get started, and we don't even have goals to go public either. In fact, our motivation is the exact opposite. You see, we have products and services and things that we know change people's lives. But because we're fighting against the big brands, people with literally unlimited budgets, we have to do things differently. We have to do things smarter. We don't have financial safety nets because every test we take is with our own money. We have to be profitable from day number one. So how do we do that? How is that even possible? If you ask the MBAs or look at your college textbooks, they will tell you that what we are doing is impossible, yet it's happening every single day. And it's happening through an art and a science that we call funnel hacking. It's not really something that I can explain to you, it's something I have to show you. These stories are a glimpse of entrepreneurs just like you who have a dream and a vision who want to change the world in their own little way. I use the funnel hacking process to help make their dreams become a reality. Yes, we are funnel hackers and these are our stories.